ask me what I'm coaching, right? I said, bro, I'm coaching life. I said, bro, I'm coaching life. They asked me what I'm coaching, right? I said, bro, I'm coaching life. I said, bro, I'm coaching life. I, said, I, said, I, 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 I kind of don't even want that shit. Nah, you get the, but what you get the TV, but you get TV, TV. It's oh shit! The intro seemed like it was shorter. Was it shorter this week? I don't think so. All right, maybe we was just talking through it. it felt I, like it was shorter though, but I don't know. We in the game. Yeah. Two o four. Two o four. Yeah. Right. Two hundred and four, man. And we're oh, recording man. on a different type of night because bro is going on an amazing. Journey should be a good vacation, man. For a good cause, shout out to homie Mike, man. Yeah, man, can't shout wait for this homie vacation Mike, with man. the friends. It's gonna Enjoy be a good, ma- one. good wait, fellowship with the homies. How long is the flight? I got a layover, so it's a little, it's a little long. I don't even know the time. It's not that bad though. I should land there around like maybe two o'clock their time, so I'll have something nice. to do that day. And then we, of course, we got a little shit planned. Like we supposed to do the four wheeler joints at one point. We supposed to do like some kind of hike. Type joint, I don't know what that is. Stretch, please. And then um, it's a bunch of joints. You know, we should we should be good. All taco of and stretch, taco and tequila tasting or something like that. I can't wait for that. That's gonna be yeah. the one. That's gonna be the one right there. But you gotta think, we old now, yo. If y'all gonna be hitting like some wild hills and you gotta really carry your man's back, you stretch, sure you yo. Hit the- Stretch, yo. Hey. If you don't think you can make it, don't hey. go. It was like we was three miles hey. into the woods. <laughs> I can't yeah, have my back, yeah, your back gave out. <laughs> my son Lamont got bad ankles, so you know you uh, gotta make sure he's. Shout good. out to homie Lamont, man. He's, the hopefully homie. he got his braces. Hopefully he pack his. Just braces. don't try run through that shit. Carry it like we in our. We're 30s. not gonna run. I know yeah, we're not. Carry gonna it run. like y'all in your. It's not gonna be that hot. I just want y'all to be safe. The good thing is it's not gonna be that hot. It's gonna be hot, and it's gonna be hotter than we're used to right now because it's winter time here. But it's gonna it's not gonna be that hot like nineties. It's gonna be like early eighties. Y'all gotta, the have, y'all gotta have hella water. <laughs> nah, we'll be all right. We'll be all right. We're definitely gonna be on that. Mm-hmm. That's gonna be dope, yo. Yeah, I can't wait, man. Like, like I said, a celebration for my guy Mike. We had him on episode like two something, or was that like one ninety something? I can't remember. He was on a visual episode, and it yeah. was amazing. Yeah, he came through, so it's a celebration for him, of course. Um, my boy uh, Pax' birthday just passed, so Pax. it's kind of like Happy a little bit of celebrating Pax. for him too. But it's gonna be a good VK, man. Can't wait. Once it's good to have people that are good with Excel to set up your trips and shit like that. You gotta have That's a function member. Different level of like, class. like my guys, man. Like you, you can see it. We know what we're doing. Through the roof. We don't have. I, I didn't see any dates on there. On I, now again, I might have just missed it. I didn't scroll all the way over or something. I might have just missed it on the or I missed the tab. Mm-hmm. Um, but we do have all activities planned out, and the spot we stand at is beautiful. How Can't many wait. days in total? I think we're doing. It's only like. Um, What's it? Uh, five days, four nights. Only um, five days, four nights. Yeah, Something that's like that. an amazing vacation, Richard. I think it's like that, isn't it? Yeah. You leave on the fifth day, is what that means. So you stay for four nights. That's gotta feel good, yo. Nah, man, that should be. You gotta should enjoy be that, yo. The the flight home gonna be a little grueling because I got a, a red eye type flight. But it is what it is. You gotta work the day after. Or you Hell no, I took off. Right, took off so one I day. I get back on that. Tuesday, was it Wednesday, Tuesday or Wednesday or something, and then I'm off that next day for sure. Whatever that next day is, I took off. Got Smart to, man. got to re, recalibrate before I go back into the office. Can't just come in a fresh up. I did that with Bali. You remember I did that? Yeah. Came back from there and after a, a, like 18 hour flight, I slept for like a couple hours and then woke up and had to go in the office. Yeah. I was nodding off in there. I was look like a look like they might have tested me. Because I looked like it was definitely on that Fenton heme. <laughs> I was on that Fenton heme when I got back, yo. That's how I know I got to start living my life better, yo. I don't think I've oh, ever had man. a day off after a vacation. Can't even remember the last That's because you don't take the days. You you have them, but you don't take them. Like, yo, use them shits. Don't let them shits go to waste. That's their yeah. money. They eat that. That's saving. Because <laughs> you're working. But, um, yeah, man. I can't wait. I'm excited. Yeah. We're recording. It's throwing me off a little bit. Late night recording. So forgive me if my eyes look like I'm mad sleepy or something. But definitely man, we gonna all get work, through this, man. this episode, man. That's the dedication, though. Yeah, you got to stay dedicated to it. I didn't want to leave y'all without one or have y'all have to do one by yourselves or figure something out without me. Even though we could have been, y'all would have been good with it. I'm sure y'all would have been fine with whatever was created if I wasn't able to come on. But no, I respect it. I appreciate it. No, I had to come through and um, leaving hella early in the morning. 
Thug Life. I should be. It depends on when this episode releases, but I should be either out there when it releases or or back, so people should know I'm out there, and I'll report back on it when I get back from the trip. Uh, that's what I'm waiting Definitely. for, the reports. Because we got a special one on that, that next episode, and I can't wait for it. Yes. That's going to be exciting. Legendary. Very exciting Legendary. for that next one. We don't even have to go into yes, too much sir. of that, but that's going to be fun. Yeah. So how has your uh, player been progressing on uh, the Detroit Pistons as well? I haven't played I it as much because okay, right, of the busy outside week, busy shit week. I've been doing. But last last time I was playing, if I can remember, I'm in the starting lineup. They're trying to – basically they give you like developmental – um, goals to get to. So you have yeah. to go five games with getting like three steals or five games without getting more than two uh, turnovers or That's hard. five games with getting seven or more rebounds or something like that. Okay. So it's that type of time that they want. They're trying to make me an all-star. I am leading the, the race in the all-star break, though, like mm. as far as votes. Mm. I'm beating out LeBron right now. That's hard. Yeah, last time I checked. As a Piston? What's a piston. Y'all, what are y'all? Y'all the sixth we now? We're in fourth now. We mm. were in fourth the last so time I So you're winning a lot. I got That's us good. back, man. That weak-ass team. You've seen that team. Yeah. You've seen that team that I'm playing with. Extra bad. That's all me. Extra bad. They even got in on me one time. I don't know if I said that on this episode, but I think I told you about it. But on the podcast, I mean, but I think I told you about it. I took... One of the games, I took it to one of them teams, like a lot. Yeah. And I could have let up, but I was like, no. I'm going to keep Cooking. jabbing it in and and not allowing them to score at to all. The 48? Yo, it was wild. It was something like that. It was crazy. I almost beat them by 100 points or something like that. It was nuts. Jesus. No, you know, I, just, I was making everything and stopping all their shots, yeah. blocking stuff, stealing stuff. I was intercepting passes through the lane, throwing oops behind my neck to Okafor. It was wild. That's because that was you wild. Your, if you get your flow going, that was, there, I was, it, I actually got hype in the house, that. so I don't usually get hype while I'm playing it, but. Cause I don't get the I don't get it to do it as often, so yeah. I got to really enjoy it. But last time I played, I was somewhere around that. Yeah, somewhere around that. And since uh, I guess your two K uh, team kind of puts us in a bag that we always are in, and um, it was a good friend of ours, and I, I didn't have a conversation with him first, so I won't say his name. But I was upset with him because he said he hates the Detroit flow, yo. He said like that's it's a bad flow, yo. Like, and I was like, how, yo, like. I'd like to know why they don't like it. Is it I'm because confused. they think it's offbeat? I've heard people I mean, say they don't like that. Some, but everybody don't rap offbeat. It's just more like a. a and I don't think it's offbeat. I think it's just a different yeah. pocket that they they chose to use on it. Yeah, and because a lot of times you can catch a little like little bop to it because yeah. it's always that little just tune. Why don't you like that? That's yeah. like the best workout music to me. Yeah, facts. To me, that's the best workout. It's so fire, yo! Uh, did you ever play against Miles Bridges on two uh, K? No, but I heard yo, the you bars. Play against Charlotte, yo. Uh, <laughs> did not, we might have played He's Charlotte. Hard, yo. I can't remember if we played Charlotte or not. Yo, Miles Bridges, we need you on Coach Class Pod. Man, yo, yo the Detroit flow. I rock with it. I yo, still yo. haven't listened. I'm going to listen on the flight. He goes by RTBMB, and um, he has a mixtape called Halftime, and it's a track called Exotic. I'm telling you, yo, everybody that likes like the, the Detroit flow, like the trappy kind of... Mm-hmm. Smooth and he's talking his shit, yo. Like normally NBA players don't. He got to get a peasy joint yo. this way, yo. He got to get a peasy yeah, joint. Yeah, he's wilding, yo. I'm like, PZ, yo, he got to get baby face on a joint. He got to like, right. uh, like go in with that. I want him to keep supporting. He's Detroit got to pick him up. Rapper, rapper Detroit got to pick him up, like, man. Can you imagine that? Rapping. That would be amazing to rap and your city and hoop at the same time. Facts. Uh, is he from Flint though? He's from, I think he's from Flint, Michigan. But I mean, that's closest to your city. You don't have a team in your hard. city, so like, yo, that's your home team. And pretty sure you are, with the may rappers, have been a Pistons fan. I don't know what his niggas? fandom was, but what is what is the acronym for? What was it? R N T B. What is R T B? I don't know. I don't know. I got something from Flint, but real. I mean, I don't know nothing about that part. But that that mixtape is hard. I it hasn't even. I haven't even known about it long enough for me to do that kind of research. But yeah. Yeah. Fucking fire, bro. Now, on the hoop tip, man, did you see somebody put out a wild-ass tweet? I didn't know how verified the account, the account was, mm-hmm. but it was a picture of Harden hugging Embiid, and they said the next Kobe, you were looking at the next Kobe and Shaq. It's been a... Durant put the best retweet up of that. He was like, yo, you got to relax. It's been a week. It's been one week. 
Now they do look good. No, <laughs> like yeah, I do you know like them together. Yeah, but that's just wild to jump off whoa. the cliff like that. But like at the same time. If James Harden becomes James Harden he used to be and Joel Embiid plays at this level, all they need oh, is a man. few pieces. They're going to have a couple years, dog. Oh, man. They look they good gonna now. They're going to have a couple years. They look yo. good. I watched them. But granted, how old is James Harden? He always looks out of shape. So how long is that going to last? I mean, he likes to party too, man. It was like confirmed man. he was out with yo, like you, three different rappers in one night. It's if like, you hoop in wow. the league, you shouldn't look like you eat hamburgers, yo. I mean, he's like, nice. Yo. He's nice. But he be coming in chubby, yo. Like, yo. <laughs> You hoop for a living, do we? Maybe, maybe you don't. I don't know. Yo. You, you don't never really see Harden like just out with the with the muscle shirt on or nothing like that. You don't know. Maybe Harden is deceptively like in shape. No, nah, he's in shape now because he's been playing all these games. But he comes into the uh, from the off season a little bit out of shape. Yeah, like mellow esque vibes. Like, yo, I really didn't care until today when I got here and we was hooping. Like, yeah, it's because he likes to party. But he's still nice. He's still nice. He's a legendary player. Word to Beyonce and them. Yeah. Andre 3000 had a good... Was the, wasn't he on that? The We Like the Party joint? The remix? Am I, am I wilding? I don't know. We Like the He party. was. He was. They yeah. verified it, so that yeah. means it's true. Andre was nice on... Andre nice. <laughs> but yeah, the basketball, Bulls, I'm hyped for you, bro. I'm really am hyped for you. I, got I mean, this. it's still hard to think like you're going to win the championship, though. Like, I think we can make it mm-hmm. if the cards play out perfectly, but we either way, not no Western Conference. From what I heard, people don't believe in y'all um, post players. Like, if y'all get deep into the playoffs, that's where y'all get defeated because somebody can beat y'all in the post, I guess. But I don't know. Like, the last five teams. That won like the the championship outside of when Anthony Davis was going crazy didn't have like yeah. the I don't know where that five. came from. I heard him talking about it. As a matter of fact, in the barbershop, in my barbershop, I went in there the day they were in talking the barbershop about that. Always. It's always a nigga <laughs> like that, man. They have a board on there because they I'm out there near the D.C. area where I get my hair cut, so they have a board out there where you can vote on if you like the new name of what the Redskins are now, which is the Commanders. And right now, it's an overwhelming lead that they hate that shit. All of the because you can only vote if you were a Redskins fan beforehand. Yeah. So they, when you come in, he asks you, "Are you a Redskins fan?" I was like, "Nah, Baltimore all day." He was like, oh, "Okay, if you were, I would have had you vote on the board." But I looked at the board; it was all nose. It's like they hate that fucking name, the yeah. Commanders. I don't think nobody would have wanted that. It seems so generic, name, man. Definitely white folks that picked that one. Generic. They Trash. must. They got it. Sounds like an off brand, like cereal or something. Like, yo, the commanders, yeah. It's probably the uniforms don't even look dope, man. I thought they were going to change, like, they could have at least changed up the, the colors or same something thing? like that. It's the same burgundy and gold. I think they have like a black one, wow. they have a black uniform too. But uh, I like Chase Young, though. Yeah, that, that boy's a dog. No, nah, he's a dog, and he's from the area, which Facts. is that's like fire. That's what I'm Facts. saying. Like, you get to that. play in the area that you grew up. I think he. It was kind of like in where I was at, kind of in the oh, okay. Maryland area more than anything. I forgot what school he fucking went to, but it was one of them big football nah, schools. No, he's definitely super nice. Definitely. Nigga's a dog, man. Yo, did you see the house just passed uh, making um, lynching a hate crime now? Oh, I did see just that. Just recently? I was like, damn, I didn't know that wasn't... Yeah, that's, that's like been, the most obvious hate crime of all time. That's always been talked about, like why that hasn't been a thing. Like why hasn't that happened yet? I guess I that's don't, the most, I don't that's the most know. clear that's thing. To, me. to like, be able man. to do that, you have to have hatred in your heart because there's no way to do why that. Why would that make sense? You can't just. <laughs> why would that be the answer to anything? Yeah, like lynching somebody <laughs> takes just pure hatred. Straight sinister evil. Like bro, relax, turn it down some, yo. Nah, man, it's wicked. It's wicked out here, man. You got the Ukraine shit popping off, going crazy. Yeah, that shit made me sad when I seen Lomachenko over there, yo. I'm like, yo, he's he, they need to protect him, yo. He's yeah. a great fighter, yo. What side are you on? He on the uh, Ukrainian side? He Ukrainian? He, I believe so. Okay. I'm not I'm not going to speak on it too much because I didn't do too much research. I just was like, damn, yo, why the fuck he in the war, yo? Like, You see the Klitschko twins? They, they on it. Yo, can you imagine if a nigga try to run up on Lomachenko incorrectly in the field, hand to hand? Yo, they got to make a movie off Loma. Man. And give a nigga a 30-piece body shot. Nah, it's been, it's been <laughs> wicked over there. Nah, that's fucked up. That shit is terrible. Why is that the answer to anything now, yo? Like, it's 2022. Is going to war really worth it and just, like, dropping bombs on a whole fucking place 
Nobody is agreeing on one thing, and it's all over greed and money. Like, yo, stop it, yo. Power, man. You want to be the the most powerful, but you're still powerful, bro. Like, yeah. yo, you he can see, y'all like, can settle this disagreement yo, young, differently. Young Putin, like, different. know what? We going to war like this. We just not sending y'all no. You remember more, that uh, whatever product we got? You remember that I mean, video right? that Jesus and Meryl and them reviewed on their show? Of that Putin? was hilarious. You seen that? <coughs> that was hilarious. That's who's leading things. Like, yo, that like, was hilarious. Yo, like, yo, nah, that shit just sad. Like, I can't yo, say anything, man. And it's mad innocent people dying. Like, bro. nuts. Bro, why would Nuts. this be the answer to anything though? Like, yo, logically, if it was two humans that had a dispute, how just you, like so fuck how it, do yo, we don't sell it, except we not settling an agreement until somebody dies. Yo. So, you have an idea submits. in your mind that you could take over this whole territory and you feel that you would be better served to uh lead it. How would you go about taking it? But if I already war. had my own territory, I wouldn't give a fuck. I would just take away whatever uh, resource I had, not give it to him. But I think there's also valuable. And I can't remember what the what the because again, I'm not well versed on what's happening. But I think there's yeah. some kind of port there from the Ukraine that if they had that, it would be easy. Some kind of easier. They want that port. That's what they're trying to get. And if they take over the territory, they get that. And then they want to keep kind of, I think they just want to keep kind of going over and building up like that old Mother Russia type shit, like Zangief. They want to have Zangief and them niggas back, yo. Like, that shit is wild, bro. Russia is 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 getting wicked out here, man. Is that his name, Zangief? Ain't it how you say it? Or is it? Zangief, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Come out like chest. this. Yeah, Zanky was the worst, <laughs> nigga. Never pick Zanky. I hated fighting him, though. No, nah, low key. He was hard to fight. Nope. Because if he grabbed your ass. I bought this shirt, but I hated this character, yo. He, I, yo, the boxing yeah. nigga wasn't it for me. Because he had no fight. powers, man. Had head, why was his hair cut like that? Yeah, that was a whack ass cut. This nigga had. They did him dirty, man. A lightning bolt shape it was, up. It was Asians that created that back in the day. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> That's how they see us, man. Yo, he had two punches. All he could throw is a right hook, yo. That's all he could do. A right hook and then a he low He had punch. no powers, yo. Like, everybody else has yeah. some kind of <laughs> fucking powerful move, yo. Like, no nigga could stretch man long and shit. I think he did have a decent jab. That's it. That's it. He had fucking hands. <laughs> Niggas be having fucking blue shit shooting out like Dragon Ball. Yeah, shit. man. Like, yo. While you just trying to box this nigga. They do have a new Street Fighter coming out. I saw a preview of it. It actually looked kind of decent. I don't play those games as much, though. Nah, that, they get a little repetitive. Games get real me. linear to me quick. Yeah. Super quick, actually. Yeah. But yeah, man. Um, where we at? We want to keep it around the sports. We want to get into this boxing shit. How far are we in? Can we get into that yet? Oh, that well, you got. I think we should just keep going free flowing. Speaking of the boxing shit, yo. Some reason, yo. If I watch a fight with this nigga right here, man. This guy, this gentleman, yo. Zay and I always catch the wild, just entertaining undercard. Y'all like, should have told me it was on. I didn't even know the shit was on. It was when the uh you ca- you had went home to watch it. I uh, I think it was on the undercard for the Josh Taylor joint. The one that came it. on during the day, it was Josh Taylor and um, I can't remember who he fought. Was this the Amir Khan joint? Talking about that time or it was no, after that? No, 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 this Khan. was after that. This was last Saturday. Oh, no, I didn't see that. Oh, <clears throat> it came anything. on during the day though, like the Amir Khan. It came on yeah, during the day. Yeah, I didn't see day, anything but, that day. And yo, it was a battle, yo, for the, 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 uh, what Matter was Matter of fact, called? I came in, is this the same one that had the Gary, o, Gary Russell? Fight on it? Is this the same fight? No, 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 no. That different was different. Fight. That, Man, was, I didn't that see came what on you're Showtime. About. I didn't see anything. That can This came on um, ESPN Plus. Yeah. But anyway, this was the heavyweight battle for Scotland, yo. Oh yeah. And um, yeah, yo, they wild brews the, the two. What was the two fighters? And ginger names, beards. Yo, it was. It, first off, it was a. It was a dude. It seemed like a fucking. Uh, Jean Claude Van Damme movie mm-hmm. or something like that. That was a boxing film back in the. Did they uh, have some kind of crazy the chant. No, oh, 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 oh. they gave the perfect description of this one nigga. He has a, like a lime green like fade, mm-hmm. and he's a barber. The nigga is out of shape, yo. Zay was like, yo, this nigga just be in Scotland, knocking niggas out in a bar, yo. I was like, yo, Stone he it. literally fought like that. No defense, <laughs> just getting pieced up. He just walked <laughs> through, throw the overhand right, yo. He don't feel nothing, and, yo. That shit was amazing, yo. Rich. Face I, is yo, hard. Before, I was about to leave out the crib, right, Mike? And yes. I, said, I saw this dude with the lime green hair, and I said, yo. Yo, say wait. 
I say, yo, I have a feeling this is about to be the best fight of the night. <laughs> I'm staying, and I stayed, yo. Yo, we was dying yo, laughing, It yo. was the worst, greatest fight you've yo. ever watched. Because the one gotta, nigga had I hands, gotta, but I gotta no watch power, the and then the other dude was just super tough. Because he still, the, the most amazing thing about it, they could make a movie about this shit. Because the guy with the green hair lost. But he was knocked down on his, knocked out on his feet hella times in that fight. Stand he never up. fell. And he yeah. kept coming back. Straight. Damn man, stop the dude. Mm. And then just throw a nasty overhand right and clip him, and then the nigga be running again. I'm yeah. like, yo. And then the body, the shot. body shots. Yo, he was pulling him from all the way back. Yo. All the way back, ripping him. Yo, it looked like uh, from the what? hip with it. That fight really could have been the, that Dreamcast game, Ready to Rumble. That looked like that. That's what I was about to say. They was he one of them the same characters? Weight class. Like, yo, the other guy looked out of shape. I was surprised by his stamina because they like he's yeah. tired. This that the third. I'm like, yeah. this nigga ain't have his hands up. Or Ooh, stick any defense and cuffs. still is throwing hard punches. I'm like, if somebody train him, he could be the next Anthony Ruiz. There's no training that. You can't it was train. A pub that. Fight, yo. Yeah, you can't train. It that. was a pub fight. Yeah, you don't train that. That's just they pure were stubborn grit. for real. Grit and will. That's one of them types. He was right in the corner screaming. Yeah. Through the right. And he just yo. throw that bitch looping, and he just ah clip his ass. Nah, no, I wish I, I wish I would have seen that. I'm mad I missed that one. Yeah. But at least I called you on Sunday because Pop Pop and and uh, had stayed over Dad in them's house on Saturday. Mm-hmm. And they told me he would still be there in the morning, so I got over there and Ran down um, on him. Yeah, yeah. I doing, brought man? just some uh, Royal Farms chicken, and you know, then we just watched guy. the boxing. Yo, they had watched them fights from Showtime. Yeah, and the Colbert joint with the yeah. Gary Russell. I had got hard. confused at first because. Uh, uh, when uh, Gary Russell, that's why I had to text y'all. Like I'm like, yo, Gary yeah, Russell. I was like, that's not Gary Russell, yo. Who is that, yo? And then Gary Russell was next to him. I was like, I don't know the the story, but I'm confused right they now. They on they because uh, I was trying to explain it to my grandfather. I'm like, Gary Russell, he nice. He the he the one that everybody wanted to see. You feel me? Yeah. And he was like, wait. And then we found out there. How many Gary Russells is it? I think it's three, right? Something like that. Yeah. It's at least three Great. or four of them. Yo. And they all can fight. They all got yeah. the hand pieces. You, the old. I think the is he the older one? That one that was calling out Tank. I can't remember yeah. if he's yeah. Okay, he's the older one. He just he lost <laughs> recently. Yeah. Um. And he also lost to uh, Lomachenko. I think. Mm. So he did get a chance to yeah. fight him at. at but least still, I, I respect but. it because he's still a good fighter. No nah, man, he and got Lomachenko the hands. Fight was, contra- was controversial. It's I heard. Mm. I heard about that. Yeah, and Lomachenko never gave him a rematch. Mm. You know. So I I, I respect him. You know, but I'm a tank all day. His his little brother is I'm nice tank though. all day though. But that's, his little brother was nice. How I feel. I'm never gonna go against tank. No, 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 no. So no. his power is but amazing. I respect them. And his brother had his brother his, is nice. This He's fight, only 25. this fight was excellent. They said he was 25. Yo, and he was going crazy. He out showed there. grit out there. Granny? He finally listened to his brother at the end. He told him to fucking throw. I think it was the right. He was telling him to Granny, throw. That Ukrainian. He told him he was like, "Yo, throw the fucking right." Oh, mm-hmm. like he was, he was telling him the whole fight, like, "Yo, like, what are you doing?" And he threw it at the end, and they stopped it. But the foreign dude he fought was a good fighter too. Do though. you think the stoppage was warranted? He wasn't throwing no punches back. He no. was beating the shit out of him, right? No, it wasn't warranted, though, because it wasn't like the fight we had watched where it was like, oh, clearly this nigga going to get brain damage. The it was just like he popped him, and he kept going back, and he just kept throwing a barrage, but he wasn't yeah. really landing. But refs be like... Nigga, but he was throwing some not hard throwing punches, shots. Yeah. If one of them bitches would have landed while he was had his hands like this or some shit, yeah. that's it. Yeah. Lights out, that nigga might die. Yeah. Because he was throwing hard shots. Yeah. I respect this brother because he took great. a lot of shots himself. He did. Ukrainian dude was tough. He was nice, yo. And that dude was like 40, low key. I think he tough. was like 38 or something like that. Like, yo, it was like his last. Drug. Wasn't his family still in the country <laughs> at war or something it for like the that? Country, yo. Yeah, yo. It was like, yo, his, his mom and the kids was back home. He, he came to fight. That's why he was fighting like that. God nigga. damn. But yo. he had them hands too. Yo, I can't imagine that. Oh, this was a great fight. Colbert, yeah. though. Is that how you say it? Is it Colbert? AZ, is it Colbert or Colbert? I say it both ways. I don't know. <laughs> hey, Col- tomato, tomato. That's what I they say, Colbert. right? Colbert, I believe. Tomato, tomato. I don't care. Correct me in the comments. Yeah. Um, Was that guy named Mar- Martinez that he fought? I don't want to be racist. No, no, no. I <laughs> think that was like really his name. Reason. Was it? I can't remember. 100%. I can't remember who he fought either. That's t- that's terrible. We didn't write it down. All I have in my note is Colbert fight. <laughs> no, but no, nah, it was a great fight, yo. Because the basically the dude he fought. The reason we don't he know him, beat his ass. And he was the replacement. I need fighter. to know his name, man. 
But he was the replacement. I don't right? care. So I still need to know his name. He whooped on him. He I think touched on him. Is. Let me look real quick. He touched on him, son. Like, yo, the, I think the thing was he had a traditional sense as far as how to box. But some of his shots seem to me, and again, I'm not the most well-versed. What did my boy uh, uh, Dez say last week? I'm an armchair expert. Oh. You know what I'm saying? I don't know everything, but I feel like I know a little bit of, you know, I, I know a little something. Yeah. So I feel like his style was more of traditional unorthodox type joint. So the punches come off crazy looking, and it was throwing him off. And that was the problem yeah. going into the fight. Colbert or Colbert. Decided to say that he's not watching no film on yeah. this nigga. Why would you not watch film on this nigga? No, he showed the the guy he fought showed the importance of body shots. Like yo, he was really in his body. You could tell he wasn't ready for that type. That of was thing. some of the best display like, of yo, body shots. Body ever, shots, yo. yo. He threw more body shots yo. than anything, man. And it got the hands down, and he was able to tag shots. his head. He was just running at the end, like yo, don't. That's touch all him. you need to do because you only really yeah, need like, to touch him touch like him. one. Most people like uh, once or twice in the chin. You going you might get him at some point. So if you keep touching that body like he was doing, man, god damn. And Colbert came in there way too cocky. Yeah. A B style. Yeah. Cocky don't do level show. Like, do that. yo, you can't Boxing, be. Yo, it's just style. you and that whoever the other man is. That's why people ring, enjoyed watching that Maidana fight between A B. Yeah. I enjoyed that. And that's bad because that's a black man, and I should not have enjoyed him getting whooped on like that. No. Nah. But I thoroughly enjoyed that. After he humped the nigga in the fight disrespectfully, yes. I was like, anything goes. Anything goes. <laughs> you cross the line. If he, he crosses the down. line and pieces you up, that's what's going to happen, he yo. He put him down. Man, twice, I think. It might have been three times damn near. But fuck, man. And the crazy thing is, if he just focused on boxing, he could have been He would have so been great. nice. He could have like, been so Like, yo, great. you could rap after if you want to do that. Not even that. It's just like, yo, just with even Or you got the money. If you keep just boxing, just manage the rappers. Why you got to be the rapper? And then you could come in later in your career and rap. You don't have to do it right now. Just get this bag. Yeah. I don't know what he going to do next, though. I haven't seen if he's going to be fighting anytime. I haven't heard his name in a while. A B, I'm saying. Nah, he like like Zay said, he just get his fights off of just like his name. getting wild and saying some disrespectful. But people stuff gonna watch about the fight and people. People gonna, gonna watch. watch. Yeah. I I would watch. I would watch an A B fight today. Yo, if somebody you, said an A B fight was coming up, I would watch. Did you see Ugas uh, at the at the fight this past weekend? Uh, that's the guy that's supposed to be fighting uh, Errol Spence coming up. Okay, bro. He had on like this, like leather, uh, like this black. He looked like Blade mixed with like, uh, like a, a drug lord from like Colombia. Yeah, nigga had the dark frames on, like with like the. It was like a blade cut, but like some like fur. Ugas probably got bodies. Jacket type, John. Like Ugas definitely. He probably. Clutched. He can actually fight though. Granted, Earl Spence is gonna beat his ass. I you believe so? he's going. De- I de- believe he's going to destroy him. This is tough as test. That type shit. I believe he, he's he's definitely a, a, my a boy. Class what was my boy Tough him. Test against Shakur Stevenson? Wasn't that Tough um, Test? <laughs> Jamel Hearn. <laughs> that was a good fight. That was excellent. I got to get back through on the fights in April. You gave the lineup. It was some good ones. Yeah, I'm coming through on them. Nah, it's about to get Cause, crazy. Because the shit I'm doing outside of uh, uh, the podcast and work is going to be done around that time, mm. and I'm cool until June. Yeah. I'm watching that and playing PlayStation 5, nigga. I respect it. And I'll, I'll be going to some places. Because, like, yo, yesterday, I actually ended up going to this spot called the Players Club. And by name, you would think it's a strip club. I was like, nigga, what? But it wasn't. It okay. was like an arcade-style joint. And they allow you to, like, bring in food and, and have drinks and shit. I was shooting some pool, nigga. I'm trash. I got to get down Extra there on Dad's now. table. I got to get down there and practice on Dad's yeah. table. It was embarrassing. You know how they, I don't know if you ever seen in golf, people get frustrated if you're on the golf like field or whatever course, if you're on yeah. the course and you're a novice, get the fuck out of the way. Yeah. Because it was a nigga waiting for a table and I felt bad. I was like, we got one more game after this one. It took mad long to end that one game. Damn, bro. But we still had one more game to go. I was like, yo. I still kind of got it. It is what it is, bro. We got the table right now. Because there's no time limit on the table, and it's first come, first serve. Yeah. So you can come up and ask, but we got however many games we got left. And it was two other tables, and them niggas played like 18 games, nigga. We only played like two or three. 
Yeah. I was getting a little upset, but you know I ain't want to get the racist shit going. Yeah. So, <laughs> but it's called the Players Club. It's cool. D.C. Little spot. It's a nice little spot to take some my little laid back joint. I was definitely on the basketball shit. I'm happy I was able to get my shit off. Mm. The shots was dropping a little bit. I'm cheap. On the baby basket, the shot was about, <laughs> it was dropping. I thought she was talking about on the regular Hell basket. Hell no, like, nigga. We was in D.C. It was like in a basement. It was oh. one of them like arcade style shooting joints. Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah. Think that. That's where I was at with it. <laughs> you could palm the ball. I was like that with yeah. it. I felt like fucking Shaq at the line. Ugh. Yo, but, yeah. that's nasty shooting a free throw with one hand. Yeah, hell yeah, I was getting it in though. That's all I was doing. You could damn near drop that bitch in the in the bucket. But um, Shaq did that in real life though. Yeah, and he was trash. That's wild, though. yo. Shaq was trash, but he still was so great. That's the only way you could stop Dominant, him. Dominant, big man. That's why he and don't he like probably big... still yammed on you if yeah. he missed that free throw. He already got the two points. That's how he made up for it yeah. most of the time, you know. Yeah. But yeah, how you feeling um with the Colbert fight? Let's so just get back to that. We we got a low off it, but how'd you feel? It's good fight. Oh no, nah, I it was he got his ass beat. Mm-hmm. I think the guy's name was Martinez. I'm not gonna lie, I think so. I was trying to look it up, and I'm like, I don't want to find it. My topics and all, yeah. That's why you gotta get the checklist joint, yo. You see how my topics are? Look at this right here. They got little bubbles next to it, so all I do is check them off. So if I have to revert back and understand what I said before, I can revert back. I don't have to delete them. Nah. You be deleting your topics. Yeah, because, yo, it's, once it's, it's up and it's gone, yo, I got to. Yo, man, I, I didn't want to say the corny line that they say these days, but that would have been a cur- perfect one right there. Yo. Well, know something I realized, though, this week? Pranks aren't cool, yo. Why do people on the internet think that's funny, yo? I saw, like, a prank, yo, where it was, like, a dude. He did, like, something, like, super petty, like, I think he like shot something on the like ceiling or something and like all this like sauce fell on this girl and he recorded it and I'm like White dude. Yeah, it's why like the fuck family? is that funny? I like found yo it hysterical. That's petty as shit. They have money. You see that crib that they was in? But still, that's what that, you do when you have money. You just that, fuck with your family. That's how I would do shit like that. Not to that extent where I'm dumping sauce on them, but I would definitely have little pranks set up. If I got money where I can just lay back and chill and make videos like that. I'm definitely doing that. I just don't never thought that because his was cool. the spot that he's in, unless he's renting it. I don't know if that's his real spot or not. You can't really confirm that these days. You just got to go off whatever they show. Still, why? What, how you getting? If he's not, if that's that they living in, they probably just comfortable. But that's what they saying, are. Like I he probably it, like, always been that way. White people be like that. I, but I get like, you know white people like that. They just fuck with people for no reason. But see, the thing is, I get a prank. But when it's disrespectful like that, like or like. Somebody just like pour like a whole thing of juice on the ground in their mother house, like to yeah, make get a laugh. Like, know. nigga, yeah. the fuck is you doing, yo? That's not funny. And you making your mother mad, you disrespecting. But this goes back to that comment they gave on the uh, gorilla. Uh, no, nah, it's because niggas don't be beating niggas' ass, yo. Because you, if you do, nah, you'll get fam, an assault charge. Like, you yo, you get, should get your ass People beat like shit that like shit. That. People like it. Just people like turmoil and shit like that. That's what yeah. they into. You know, and it's. I'm just saying, do that shit to a stranger. I'm never doing that, that to my grandmoms. Like, don't do that to your 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 girl or your mother. Like, yo, yeah. relax, yo. That's not the person to prank, bro. Like, <laughs> wrong prank victim, yo. This kind of gets me into my YouTube deep dive this week. For some reason, it was wild that it popped up because I watched a lot of court cases and shit like that. So I think that's why it popped up. Mm-hmm. You know, Chris Hansen. Uh, no. Nah. To Catch a Predator. You remember that? Oh, yes, 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 yes. The yes. host of that, yo. I've been getting deep dives of old clips oh, from that, yo. Yo, that shit used to be hilarious. That shit yo. is the funniest shit I ever. I used to stay up and watch that shit late at night. Nigga, Chris Hansen come out the back. So what were you thinking about? Yeah. What was going on tonight? <laughs> They'd be like, you know, I'm, I was just I was just coming through to, you know. Yeah. They said they said to come through. Yeah, he like said, so. You, but you said it was all love and trust. Yeah, and this seems like but all what he do? love and lust. What? <laughs> that's, how they, that's how they would hit you in there, and then he get mad when the nigga try to fight him and shit. Like, oh, you really instigating this shit? 
I used to watch that show avid. Like, yo, I used to watch all that shit. I probably seen all, every. That's episode. how Chris Hansen do, That's yo. How he did. But he would be close. And yo, like, he had a formula, yo. Situation. I started peeping his formula. He would come out, ask him, yo, hey, what's going on? Yeah. Like, just introduce. And some of them would play it smooth. <laughs> like, how you doing, sir? Like, yo, you you're in a you uh, allegedly in a 13 year old's yeah. house exactly. right now by themselves. And you just cool with this big ass adult coming in, but they can never play it cool. Yeah. Once you start applying the pressure, and then he pull out, <laughs> then he pull out the transcript, and they was always walling in the transcripts. Oh, that's Why were y'all walling online crazy. like it's that? Crazy. Sending meat photos off the rip. Crazy. To a th- after they find out she thirteen. But niggas be sick as hell, yo. Yo, get them out of here. Eradicate yeah. them niggas, yo. They but gotta it's go. Crazy that like they 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 uh, take shit like that lightly, but like. If somebody like sells a drug to somebody that purchased it, and it's like like nobody forced them to do it, it's like yo, how is that a slap on the wrist, bro? <laughs> That's all I want to know. Skin tone. That's all I said. Even though there was one black guy on one of these, I was kind of upset. Regardless, with this nigga, like bro. yo, you're wild. I was it extra doesn't tight with this race. nigga because it was it was a hella what it was. Yo, I got I can't remember one. It was one that had me actually in tears watching it. I think the nigga came through with a pizza. <laughs> Chris Hansen came out the bat. He yo. offered him a slice, <laughs> yo. Yo, this shit is nuts, yo. They be going in on the when he pull out the big the paperwork that he pull out, yo, it be mad thick. Yo. He be reading the paperwork to him, he be like, yo, so here you say it. I can't even say it, yo. Because no, no, YouTube no. gonna cut it off, yo. Well, so I, I transcript. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they was like, so you, you didn't know that she was 13, but right here, you said. It's okay, right? You know, just don't tell anybody. So you knew this was wrong, right? Well, I wasn't going to do And that's the thing. All of them lead with, this is my first time ever doing this. I would never do this. This is just, you know, as I was driving, I knew I should have spent that. But I was <laughs> like, niggas, you a weirdo, nigga. nigga. You got to go. Eradicate them niggas. Sick the thing that I used nigga. to like is that they... Did Honestly, if World War Three happens, yo, they should have to go first. If you ever did some shit nah. like that, yo, you gotta nah. go get. I don't up. want them representing the, the country, line. yo. They gotta get. Yeah, put yeah, down. yeah. You they just gotta down. get put down. They That's have how it goes. On there, yo. Yes, a rabbi. There was one episode with a fucking <laughs> rabbi, <laughs> I mean, son. Really? Never mind. I'm not even. Gonna and say we that. can't even go too heavy on that. But matter of fact, did I did I need to say that? <laughs> nah, <laughs> yo, <laughs> yo, the episode is on YouTube. It's, I watched it. He was he was big man. The rabbi said. When the cameras came out, he got <laughs> tight, boy. No, no, he he hands. got yeah. he, was he, was camera. 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 <laughs> he came up to Chris Hansen and said, "Nah, nigga, what you doing?" <laughs> yo, that's funny as hell, yo. We ain't gotta go too far in there because you know how that go. <laughs> <laughs> yo, the Chris Hansen deep dive had me in stitches. Got yo. me through my short week, man. Yo. Got me through my short week. <laughs> yo, <laughs> I, I wanted to give you a shout out too for last week. And I, was, I saw that uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy is actually on HBO Max. It is? It I'm is. watching it tonight. It is. I'm watching it tonight. It's on there, bro. Yeah. Because as soon as you talked about that movie, I was like, damn, we did watch this shit a lot in middle school, yo. Yeah. Like, I love that movie, yo. Mm-hmm. Most Def smoked that. Definitely hard. That's a role you would never expect Most Def to be able to smoke, yo. Yeah, he was a weird, quirky kind of alien. Facts with this towel. I don't know how he did. I don't Yo, know. on the neck, he just had the towel. And he, he used to make this cool. noise. You heard that noise he used to make? He, he, he was just was say cool, some yo. shit like that. Yo, like yo, I love that. He was movie, hella cool, yo. yo. That movie is absurd, but you know, if you're into the quirky, nerdy shit, though, you you would definitely fuck with it. Yeah, and since y'all be in the anime, yo, and we already all right. I don't want to go straight into the anime bag still because this is from HBO Max as oh, yeah. well. Okay, Righteous Gemstones. Y'all got to watch Oh, yeah, you told that, me about though. that. You told me about it. This and second I saw season. It popped up this time. Eric Andre was in this second oh, season, oh, yo. He was. He's, he's hilarious. I don't even want to give it away. He was wild. He's a wild fucking boy. <laughs> Did you ever see the Eric Andre show? That no. Is, I used to watch all that. It was crazy. He showed off his acting chops a little bit in this one because he he's wasn't hilarious. like just awkward. He was, he was playing a role. He's still hilarious. He was in he another like, well. Dayton show before, and he was hilarious. He played it well, definitely. But go ahead with the anime, John. What was it? Yo, this is like, um, it's on Amazon Prime. I've probably seen it. It's from, I don't know. Y'all might not have seen it. Y'all might have seen it. It's called uh, Champion Joe. Nope, I haven't seen it's it. It's from 1980, 
It's like a two boxing and a half hand. hour boxing anime. It's the joint I posted on my Insta story, like where he like did the in the overhand, and we had just watched the fight about the overhand rights, yo, with the uh dude with the green hair, clipped the dude with the overhand right, and it was like, yo, that movie is hard. Champion Joe, made in nineteen eighty, it give you like fist of the North Star type uh, animations mixed right. with like like the old Baki, like. The old one though, like the, the grappler Baki style. movie, like where it was. No, like, I like it. I know what you're talking about. Fire though, extra fire. Y'all should watch Champion Joe. It's on Amazon Prime, yo. Mm-hmm. I haven't, I haven't checked out too many enemies now that I think about it. It's been a little minute. Well, I, I, I did fun. watch a. Um, damn, I forgot the name of that show with the nigga that got the straw hat. Loopy, I think is his name. Fuck. Mm-hmm. Somebody will kill me in the comments. That's like the anime is, but I started. I watched a movie from him, so I might go back and start watching that series at some point. You know how I got through Naruto? Yeah, I went all the way through that shit. Damn, like, but and that was years ago that oh, I, did I was going to say that was but years that mean, ago. Fuck with it, you know what I mean? But um, yeah, and I'm excited to see what's happening. I keep seeing Dragon Ball Super um, names trending. What is happening? Is it, is something happening right now? Right now. Because every day or every other day, I'll see like Vegeta trending or I'll see Broly trending or or some other but, character trending. Know, well, they did make the announcement. I love it, the, though. Uh, the super, what, superheroes movie coming out in North America. Yeah, and I'm not excited about that. Like, the June Gohan July. joint? So maybe that, that was like the last week we could have. So Is that the Gohan joint? Yeah. Yeah, that one, I don't know, man. That That's one of them hit or miss joints right there. Oh. But well, if you, the anime you watch though. super, you watch the the Broly joint, right? Mm-mm, you haven't no, watched it. I hadn't seen it. No, you just gotta watch that, dog. Please, because they only Believe. got the one way. I gotta read it in the uh, in the uh, on a um, Amazon Prime YouTube. Oh, man, that's, I was gonna lay, I and the dub one on YouTube is nasty looking. Like I don't want to see it like that. That's not gonna give it yeah, justice. Nah. Looking like a fucking somebody ripped it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. nah, yo, I don't want that, yo. Yeah, I, I got it. and it's Dragon Ball. It's yeah, not I don't, with that. They don't got the dub version, no way, nigga. I be I will buy it. It's they not really they gotta movie. have the dub I'm version to be able to purchase. Drive, because I keep forgetting to bring my flash drive. Yeah. I'm gonna see if I. I got that. Uh, just, drive or right. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's okay. Yeah. But um, that's good. That's good as hell. I'm not as hopeful for this Gohan joint. I'm, I want to be, but I don't know if I like that animation style they're going with. I don't know if I like. It's it. like 3D. Uh, yeah, it's giving a little bit of 3D Can't vibes. Sure, like type vibes. Not qu- quite like that. It's like a different kind of tune to it. it, but it's still 3D. It's it's probably from the same family, mm. whatever style that is. Because that Kangen and Shuren shit. Where like they when show. they coming back? They just gonna drop that Kangen Baki. What they we get like now? Twenty seasons into that motherfucker. I want to see that man. That Shout out to E man. man. E used to be following along with us. They say his heart's gonna stop if he keeps going in that rage mode too long. Fuck it. <laughs> Send it to the max. My man is getting a nosebleed yeah. and pass out after he But it, I like how they do the stories because you really be thinking a nigga about to end the fight. The nigga be all the way out and then a the nigga just bounce back and it's hit some crazy the ass move. With the weird styles, the writing is so great because it's like they could like pack this long, elaborate story into like a 30 second clip. Like, you remember when Baki would fight somebody, they'd be like, Hajiro Hama of mm-hmm. the Baki on Japanese trial. Yeah. He was the greatest fighter at one time, mastering the master They give their clinch. company uh, <laughs> a mountain yeah. shit like that. Company <laughs> exactly. worth 250 hard, billion bro. yen or some and shit they like that. Up, like, just quickly. Nah. That they, was They fun. do that type of stuff. Cool. It's good, man. Ken Genishore did the same kind of vibe yeah, with that. hell yeah. Yo. What's my Baki had my my son that had the that was there was the black dude right Biscuit uh, Oliver Biscuit Oliver yeah Biscuit that Oliver had the, the chunky white joint <laughs> Biscuit Oliver was a thug though like yo Baki like yo he barely beat him yo why had the chunky white joint like that yo? I don't like that they writ, wrote that that's got to be some I mean it's written from the standpoint of people in Japan there's no black people there so they going off what they heard it's not like yo. Stop Asian hate. Honestly, that's not racist to me. It's racist if you grow up around black people. You feel me? Like, if it's one thing, like, I've never seen a black person other than what's on TV. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that that makes sense. Yo, so I went back. I don't know why I did this. I needed some just noise to throw on in the background, yeah. basically, while I was doing the shit. Like I said, I'm working on outside of the pod and work. Mm-hmm. Um, I watched the Fantastic Four. So I watched... The old one that came out, 
you remember the the real movie one that came out with Victor Von Doom, terrible looking Ben Grimm. I remember that. And um, Johnny <clears throat> Storm was the one white dude that was in all them shits. Oh, actually, that one was mediocre then. So that one. That one was mediocre. I also watched that that new one with Michael B. Terrible. Jordan. Worst movie of all time. So I wanted to ask you, mm-hmm. if you had to have one of them in the Marvel Universe, would you take that Johnny Storm, which is Michael B. Jordan, or Michael B. Jordan as Killmonger? You got to have one of them in there. And they last throughout whatever the story is. Killmonger. That that Fantastic Four movie Horrendous. was like one of the worst movies one of I've ever the seen worst in my entire movies life. Ever and he was named. Johnny Flame or whatever his name is. The, That's what I'm saying. That's what I said. Johnny Storm. The CGI was horrendous. You talk about that kind of stuff for a budget, and you bought the rights to some Marvel shit. That's egregious. Mm. That was terrible, yo. Yeah, yeah. Fantastic. I forgot bad. about how bad that CGI really bad. was. I watched the whole movie, and that came out in like what. 2000 and like what? It was what, recent 12, It wasn't 13? that long ago It was in times When it should have been Better than what it looked like Yes For like, sure on, They yo. didn't give them the money Fantastic that? 4 hasn't been good I don't know who's gonna play who Like who yeah. I don't wanna get into that I feel that like they just wanna Cast though. somebody new Random They have to Well I admit the, the, the first But he probably Old as shit now The one from the uh, First Fantastic 4 The uh, the, the dad The uh, Mr. Elastic He whatever. was actually He was good. a good actor He Michael was a good Oden. actor but he, he probably old as him. a bitch now. Yeah, he is. Man, that nigga I pushing that. pushing sixty now, yo. Yeah. I'm inter- I'm interested to see what they do with this uh, multiverse of madness. This Doctor yeah. Strange because it's going to have come back old with the beard and be stretching. I've heard a lot of people say that they are are, are going to see. We're going to see like um, Kingpin, the Safari. They said dude, that's going to be the main three uh, villains. And I, who was the other one? Craven, it was three of them. Um, Kingpin, Kingpin and there was one more that they said. Green Goblin. Green Goblin. Okay. They, they bringing bring your the Green Goblin. Goblin back too. It looked like from the picture. Nigga. He dug, I figured the way he dug Spider-Man you, in yeah. it. They was like, oh yeah, he about, they about to make him a figure. Yo, he fucked Spider-Man yeah. up. He had huh? to beat that nigga up like that, yo. Yo, he was dirting him. And he killed Aunt May. Yeah. Murdered Aunt May. Yeah, they respected With the gangster. grenade. His Threw the little John in there and was chilling. This gangster was different Whoops. in this one. Because he <laughs> finessed him. Motion. He finessed him from the top. I don't think he was ever outside of Goblin at any point in that movie. Mm, he I just think was Goblin finessing. was the whole time. Because I think, because you've seen the part when they were in there in the uh, the spot and he was stealing the fucking donuts or whatever it was on the table. Yeah. While he was faking being like crazy and shit while she was in there. He was goblin that whole time, nigga. That nigga, nigga never not goblin. He stuck in goblin mode. Yeah, always goblin. Diabolical, yeah. diabolical. For and he man. got the hands with the bodies. Yo, he yo he power bombed my son through like fourteen floors. And was hitting him with body shots, close, yeah. like really beating him up. Like, mm. oh, he's angry right Cause now. Cause he's a kid. Toby McGuire was a little bit older. I think he might be a little bit heavier. I don't think he could do that, to Toby. Yeah. He ain't power bomb Toby like that. Facts. Nah, he and he slammed them through floors. Through floors. Yeah. Yo, this is some completely left field shit. But both of y'all, well, Zay, we know you got an amazing woman, and you got uh, got a person that you're dealing with, uh, or something like that. It's a oh, show called Love Life. You know, if y'all life want something, life. y'all want to uh, watch. If you, if you, it's that type of show. I'm probably the only man that will watch this by myself. That's why I'm telling y'all, because y'all gonna be like, why did you watch this? If it was just you. But it's a show called Love Life on HBO Max. I think y'all should watch it. I saw you promoting it on Twitter somehow. You I retweeted love it. it or some shit like that. You was talking to somebody. I like it, yo. Because the first season is, it's like, it takes place in New York. It's like a, a insecure, but like the, the, the version that's not for us. You feel me? Like. I can't. Know what? Know what? It seems like they they casted people. They went to a Starbucks and they was just like, "Yo, we gonna cast everybody from in here and make them parts I of like the show." That. But it's amazing because I can see that. And then it's what it's a it's a it's a season about a, a black dude. The an second eclectic season, the, yeah group. yeah the second season about is about a black dude. He's a book editor in New York, and it's like his failed relationships. It's it's mad good. I'm it's mad it good. I'm gonna check it. And out. the first one is about a woman named Darby. And like her failed relationship. I got a long flight. So like I said, Amazing. I'm going to listen to, there was something you was telling me I need to listen to. Mm-hmm. Music wise. 
Not Kodak to, Black, did you listen to his shit? I did listen to it. Was that. it good? I like it. I'll check it out. I gotta check that out. It was something else she was telling me to fucking listen to. I haven't listened to yet. Damn. I'll figure it out. But I don't wanna waste time on the pod. Like no, that. I got I got I do have two things I was listening to though. It's a guy out of California. His name's Westside Webb. You heard it here first. Westside Webb. And it's uh his uh mixtape is called Caught in the Web. Okay. So, like Soon to come, like, G, G Perico features, like, that kind of lane. He's like, L.A.? Super L.A., like, well, I think L.A. I, it seems like the, so with his, yeah, his subject Coast. matter is West Coast. Coast. West Coast. And then um, it's another guy named Chuck Global, and I think he's from, like, Pittsburgh or something. But it's called From Me to You, Extra Smooth, yo. I don't know if we talked about this yet. Mm-hmm. Oh, keep going, though. No, 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 that, that was it. Did we talk about um, Benny the Butcher on the last pod? No. How would you feel about the last project? Which one? Pop- I mean, not Pop- Benny, Pop- not Benny, not Benny. Conway. Conway the Machine. I honestly didn't listen yet. It's only because it's a lot of content out, though. Yeah, it's like, a lot. And, y'all, and they be dropping. I want you to listen before I say what I say. And they be dropping. They drop a lot. So it's like sometimes I, I had to, to like, catch I need you to listen just before I say up. what I say. Because it was, it just didn't hit me. Like, you, and you know I was always Conway over, mm-hmm. Butch, uh, over everybody for a little while. Until Westside. I, I, I like They're Westside all amazing, probably. Though. You gotta think more. like Conway just came out like to the masses like four years ago. Yeah. He pro- how many albums does he have, yo? Like, yeah. yo, he dropped like a, a twice a year or something coldest. like that. Like, yeah, like yo. But I want you to listen and then we we can get into it, yo. But I'm definitely deprived since we don't have Abbott Elementary. That shit is blowing. Yeah, me that shit made me sad when I went on a uh, YouTube TV. That like, shit where's, is blowing. Because the, I watch it so as soon as, like the, the, the morning yeah. after every time. I was waiting for it. Yeah. I was waiting, man. I still got to catch up on Snowfall. I'm behind. I think the new episode come out tonight. If it's mm. not out right now.